Hi Collective, welcome to my channel, Crystal's Lightwork. Hi everyone. So this is going to be a morning reading for all of you. So, timeless reading. Surrounding the energy at me at this time. So, real time, it is June 19th. So let's see here. What is going on? Collective energy surrounding me at this time. So, two of staffs right away here. Hmm. Are you at a crossroads? Do you have a decision to make? Are you going somewhere? Are you staying somewhere? Wow. Hmm. King of Staffs and King of Cups. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a decision to make. <laughs> Three of Cups. Hmm. Wow. Um... <laughs> there's a decision of lover of two kings one king's down one path one king's down another path and three of cups is here wow six of swords they're showing me with the seven of swords um or i said seven of swords interesting seven of wands so you need to have boundaries okay you need to impose boundaries and movement is needed here. I'm getting that there's going to be like um, somebody trying to like block you or stop you from making some sort of movement. See the swords that are in that boat there, right? So it's like somebody's either going to try to, you know, insert those swords, try to stop you. Um... Or are they getting thrown at the, at the boat as they leave? Because, look, he's holding, he's, he's holding up a flag surrounded by, um, surrounded by swords. <laughs> you know, to me, he's getting clever with those swords. And it's like, he's, you know, to me, it's like somebody is holding up a red flag. But it's like, why am I having it so, such a hard time to explain this? It's like somebody's letting you know, like, look, I have these swords, but I'm holding up a flag. I don't want to fight. You know, I've got these if I have to use them. Like, don't mess with me. Wow, I'm getting this energy of somebody's like, don't, don't mess with me. <laughs> like, I have these swords too. But see, there's the seven of swords. Um, Ace of swords. It's confirmation. Um, yeah, I'm getting you're going to be getting confirmation communication you're going to be getting clarity and truth I don't want to go too far in, into the middle but there's this page of cups here hmm. okay well I pulled those let's um let's keep going here tell me more about what's going on that came out so do you did you hear how loud that was I should have just pulled it <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I feel like I upset them they're like no like whoa two of swords is a decision head over heart and I guess I didn't even explain it when when they when they showed it right I don't know why I heard it <clears throat> seeing on my voice like I you know, oh, wow. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. There, somebody's mad. Th there needs to be an ending here. Death card. I, I, you probably seen I was looking right at the two swords. And I was going to say something like, it's going to be a, a tough decision, something you're not wanting to make. If you look there, she's covering her eyes and holding the swords. It's like, I know I have to make this decision and I know I'm going to hurt somebody. But something's done here. Queen of Swords, she's got her, her sword pointed down. Um, this Queen of Swords is coming up underneath this King of Cups. Sorry, my stomach is so growling. <laughs> um, this, um, this... It's like something needs to definitely be said. I'm getting to this King of Cups here. Underneath 
Um, hmm. uh, Ace of Stamps. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, there's a passionate new beginning here. Yeah, I went right to the Page of Cups again. I just noticed this one actually has the number on it. I guess the majors are numbered. I've never noticed it before. 13, right above um, there. I went right to the 13. 13 could be significant. Core four. Numerology one and three is four. I'm a life path four. It's time to get on your life path, maybe. <laughs> mm, okay. Could be a message for me. <laughs> Five of staffs. There's competition over this Three of Cups, so I'm getting that um, both of these energies are wanting celebration, right? Hermit energy is coming out in the world. Wow. There's a major closing to a cycle, yeah, seeing 21 here. So, or three. Yeah, so definitely the majors are numbered. I never noticed they were before. Really? Okay, maybe I need more. Oh, the devil came out next to justice. Okay, I'm trying to work with what I got. <laughs> trying to work some more quiet too. I've got like the AC blasting in the other room, so I thought I would try in here where it's quiet. Um, and so I can can relax <laughs> a little bit um 10 of 10 of staff so um you know that that's an end to a very burdensome very challenging cycle it's interesting that the world fell before it you know i mean these were extra cards that came out i mean i wanted one for the outcome but they had me pick that one for the outcome You know, and I often say the final part about Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, is to finally, like, release and let go. Somebody's having a hard time letting go of something, something that should have been closed out. I'm getting a long time ago. It's kind of like where somebody, like, makes a paradigm shift or a, um, like, a timeline jump. <laughs> it's kind of like where you internally... Um, you make this movement, but then, you know, things need to be moved in, in the physical realm. Um, it's kind of like, uh, say, for instance, like you're getting a divorce, right? You know, like the legality part takes time, but you could physically separate, move out of the house, divide up all your, your stuff, but the paperwork is not finalized. That's kind of what I'm getting because I'm getting this energy, too, is it's like somebody's already got victory. It's like somebody's already made their choice. It's like he already decided, like, you know what? I'm going to focus on this one wand. These other ones, I'm not too focused on. I'm holding on to them still, but it's only until I need to change hands. So maybe for some of you, there is that. It's just the final, you know, dispersing of whatever those wands are, right? Assets, or maybe those represent children. Things you still need to hold on to, but the burden has been relieved, right? Um... But that's what I'm getting. There's just a little bit of things that need to be finalized. You know, and it has to do with healing because they're showing me four of swords here. But yeah, there's justice over the devil here. There was too much going on with this devil energy, right? Whether this was addictions, um, drugs, alcohol, whether it was like a relationship that was, you know, out of codependency, right? So, um, but there's, there's healing that's needed here. I'm getting part of that healing of those burdens too could be within the mind that could be letting go. Like it's already done. So let go of all of that stress and worry and all of those things because it's done now. The magician. Yeah. I'm getting somebody manifested their new beginning and brought it right in. Their wish fulfillment because you know what they were strong over this devil energy wow there's a king of coins that they're showing to me now 
I don't know if this is another energy coming in here because there is competition. <laughs> or if this is this passionate new beginning is also going to bring security, stability. The king of coins is a provider. Um, you know, takes care of the heart, takes care of the mind, takes care. There's so much more than just, you know, money and, and things like that. It's going to bring security, stability. Um, somebody that's not going to be in and out of your, like, um, this in and out type of energy, which I feel was creating a lot of illusions and stress and worry and burden. And I'm getting this strong energy of home. It's going to feel, somebody's going to feel like they can relax. There are multiple options here though, but the seven of cups, you know, you know, is illusions for some of these there there's illusions surrounding this okay um <clears throat> it's a, it's a true lover though but see there's this page of swords or maybe it's this page of swords is trying to paint illusions around this are they the two of staffs is here is that <clears throat> what does it look different to me now is i seeing it wrong before in the beginning Maybe I did. Maybe I called the two of swords the two of wands. See, it's like I'm getting confused now. Did did I say that in the beginning? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I read intuitively anyway. <clears throat> so if I get the cards or I'm still going off what I feel. Um, cards are mainly just. <laughs> I could go up here and give readings with no cards, right? It's just they're mainly for you guys. And to help keep us on point because I, I, I wander a lot. <laughs> You know, I can be all over the place, so it helps keep me focused. Ace of Swords, that's me speaking the truth, see? Very much an intuitive, um, it's like a gig reader, so, okay, um, wow, it's time, I gotta show you this, I was about to put it back in, Ten of Pentacles, oh, and the Seven of Pentacles, yeah, it, it's divine timing for this legacy there's a legacy to be built here see and that's what you need to understand for some of you it's like the devil gets in and plays games and knows how to use lower vibrational people send them to you because he doesn't want you to build legacies and level up and but this is somebody i'm getting that is very smart and sophisticated and is meant to build a legacy right so it's time it's way beyond time i, I feel this has been a long time coming yeah there's been a lot of betrayals and things that have been holding somebody back three of swords and, and that's why the skills are coming in balance too yeah see somebody's been out here doing a lot of work eight of pentacles okay seven of um wands there so boundaries were needed to put into place especially surrounding somebody's work queen of staffs it's funny i just started going through the deck <clears throat> backwards <laughs> They wanted me to show you that Queen of Staffs, you know, that's definitely counterpart energy to this king. These are two that are, there's a lot of passion, a lot of adventure. They're supposed to be traveling together. <laughs> wow, I just heard creating babies together. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're divine lovers. What? <laughs> there's a high priestess here that's very um hmm, hmm, very psychic you know hmm. high high intuition like they they know this i'm getting these two know this <laughs> judgments being called it's time for them to come together it is in two of cups. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's time. All right. So I'm going to leave the reading here. I'm sending love and light to all of you. As always, um, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to get into doing the Gemini readings now. Uh, the Gemini new moon readings, I mean. I um, it's It's been challenging. I... <laughs> I'm definitely still a fighter. Just things have been challenging. Let's say that, but I am still gonna do what I, I what I'm focused on doing. Cause um, what I say I do, I do. 
so nothing's gonna stop that that's the leo in me <laughs> all right love and light to all of you bye guys